Hey, I'm Al McGee with YETicket.com. Well, the film I'm going to talk about right now is called Don't Worry, Darling. Hey, this is directed by Olivia Wow. I really enjoy this woman. I like her acting. And she also directed a film before. Now, let me tell you about this film, Don't Worry, Darling. Well, this is about this young couple named, well, Alice, which is played by Florence Pugh, and her husband, Jack, which is played by Harry Styles. Oh, a little story behind this background. The original person who's supposed to play uh, Jack was Shia LaBeouf, but you know, he got his problems and I think Hollywood don't want him around. So they picked Harry to play this role. Now they live in this community, which is in the desert called Victory. Oh, it's a pleasant place to live. For example, when it opens up in the evening, you see the couples who live there or the families that live there, they're having a great time. They're drinking, they're talking about each other and things like that. Wow, everything is just so perfect there. And then in the morning, you see the men, you know, they eat their breakfast. The women get up much earlier and cook their breakfast. Uh, they have eggs, ham, things like that, pancakes. And then all the men go to this one job and they're dressed in suits. They drive their 50s style cars like a Corvette or a Thunderbird and other cars, convertibles. Now remember, they're living in a desert like a community. There are mountains around them and you know, perfect weather and everything like that. Then when the men go to work, well, the women, they clean up, they uh, prepare you know, dishes for tonight. And sometimes they go shopping. Sometimes they go shopping together. And while they're shopping, well, they don't use cash. They get credit. Yeah, they don't have any money at all. Also, I noticed in the film, you never see a postman either. Hmm. But anyway, oh, everything is so far so good in this community. But then one of the ladies there, Margaret, which is played by Kiki Lane, she had a problem. And she also tell people about it. But Alice, she said, hmm, I kind of believe what she talked about. The other ladies, they want to believe what Margaret was talking about. But Alice felt things were not right. Something was wrong with this thing. Uh, something uh, wasn't, uh, well, fitting her type of way of living and things like that. So you got this so-called like leader, the guy, maybe he owns the company or something like that named Frank. He's played by Chris Pine. Chris Pine is very good in this role too. You know, they want to touch, they want to touch him, go to his house for parties and, and, you know, things like that. And, you know, they're still using record players in this too and vinyl records. Yeah. But, you know, we don't know a whole lot about Frank, but, as thing goes on, you know, the plot starts to come out more and more, which is the problem that I have with this film. The plot came out kind of late for me. And the plot, well, you know, it, it didn't really warrant it what was really happening with this film. In other words, I was sitting there and I was trying to say, what am I watching? And what is this film trying to say to me? their message or what's the story it's trying to say to me it didn't say anything like that and also what was it trying to say about the 50s was it trying to say men go to work women stay home in these days and times also this film kept reminding me of other shows and other movies uh you know uh there's some originality to this but overall it's not or is it? You know, don't worry, darling, it was a little confusing for me. I liked the acting, but what I liked the most was the sets, the costumes, and some of the characters, but not wholeheartedly. Because again, like I say, it was confusing to me about what it should do and what it should be. So I'm only gonna get this film just two palm trees out of four. It's a C grade movie. But I'm a little bit confused about that because I'm confused about the film. Don't worry, darling. Should you go see this film? Of course you should. 
you go see this film for yourself and then you let me know what do you think about this film you really got to go and see this for yourself and you decide what you think about this film Hey, I'm Al McGee with YETicket.com. Thanks for watching me. I really appreciate it. But don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and all those other channels that I have. Thanks. This is your entertainment ticket. Latest and great.